This uh, video is how to create a form. We're going to click on the Create tab like we did when we did the query. And the easiest way to create a form is by using the Form Wizard. And when you go into the Form Wizard, it looks very similar to the way we set up a query. You can choose your fields that are in your form based on tables and queries. So we've got to first decide which table we're going to choose our information from. So we're going to go to our Tables Tours and you see the field names available for that table. And we're going to select all of our fields. And the way you select all the fields at one time is by clicking on the two greater than arrows and it moves it from available to selected. If we wanted to choose a different table and other fields we could, but in this example we're just going to click on next. We're going to leave it in the columnar format, but we could change it. And whatever you give your title here is what your um, form is going to be called. So we're going to call this Tours Entry Form. Let me fix that, sorry. And then we're going to click on the Finish button. In this form, you can tab through it to get to a different form of information. You can click on New Blank and it will allow you to put in new information in your form. So not only can you enter your information in your table, but you can also enter it through this form and it will show up in your table because all of these things are connected through the relationships that you built from Unit A. Good luck with forms.